Hey, hi guys. So today we will look at our first program inside C++ language. So in the previous video, we created our first REPL and we saw that like every C, every C++ program will have a dot CPP file as an extension as simple as that. So just focus on few things. Uh, don't worry about this first line. Anyways, I will cover it later. Now we will only focus on main. This int is nothing but a return type. We will learn what exactly the return type of any function in the upcoming videos. But our main focus for this uh, video is to understand the first program inside C++. So focus on main. So every function will start with its name as well as opening and closing brackets and then followed by the opening and closing curly brackets. These curly brackets are known as blocks. So whatever you write inside this block, that will be the definition of that function. So main is simply a function with, which acts as an entry point of the C++ program. Entry points point means uh, C++ program start its execution from the main function. This is the first line that will get execute after running our first program. So in the console, uh, sorry, in the REPL, you can see uh, the run button. As soon as I hit this run button, you will see output on a console as hello world. So exactly you can see that we have written hello world here and exactly that is got shown on the console. So let's quickly look at C out. C out stands for console output. We are saying that take this string and put it into the console. This will be act as the output of the console. That is what C out means. C out. Uh, in like it is pointing towards the C out like this string is like pointing towards it is just like a pointer right like you can see these string is pointing towards C out M means we are telling compiler that whatever is written here put that into the console uh, so I will just change it uh, let's play a game so here you can see I just changed the string and if I, if I try to run it again, oops, yeah, if I try to run it again, the output will also change because we are telling compiler that whatever is inside this string, we want to showcase that this slash N is nothing but the line terminator means we are telling compiler that, okay, I want to start the new line. So if whatever I write after the, after this slash N will start from the new line, uh, start from the new line. Suppose now I'm saving this program and again I'm running whatever I have written after the slash n will start uh, will start from the next line. The, as simple as that. Here you can see uh, let's play a game is on the one line and start from the new line is on the second line. This is the use case of the slash n. It also called as a uh, line terminator. So now let's quickly look at what exactly uh, hash include IO stream. So to run a C++ program, there are very predefined function, just like C out is a predefined function inside C++ language. So to use these commands like C out and all input and output related functionalities, we have to include some prerequisites. Don't try to over complicate it. If you are not understanding what exactly the uh, hash include IO stream is, in a simple words, in a uh, in a technical words, it is a header file which helps us to in uh, to include all the important things which are related for the input and output of this program. Now quickly look at the std. std is a namespace. I will quickly show you. Uh, suppose I want to write a C out without uh, without using the std, then I will quickly show you. So I have written only C out and I have pointed it uh, with the help of string. Like this is the simple syntax of printing anything onto the console. You will like, you will write C out, then uh, angular brackets, opening angular brackets, two opening angular brackets. And then inside that you will pass a string and whatever you want to write, you will pass it through here. But here you can see compiler is throwing us an error that uh, compiler saying, I don't know anything about C out because we are not specifying where the C out is present. But as soon as I write STD and double colon, this is nothing but the location of the C out. Now compiler understands 
we want to access the standard library, standard namespace first, and then inside that standard namespace, uh, we will find the C out. Uh, that exactly now compiler will understand. Okay, uh, this this is what C out means. C out is only used for printing something to the screen. But if we don't use C out, uh, sorry, if we don't use std, then compiler will show us an error. So to fix this, we, what we can do, we can include this namespace on the top. How we can do it using, sorry for spelling mistakes. Yeah. So if we write using namespace std on the top, now we don't want to include it all the times. But right now, even without std, even without writing std double colon, we can write C out statements. So that's the power of using namespace std uh, in the top. You don't have to write it again and again and again. You can simply write uh, on the top using namespace std and now compiler will know that, okay, we are already using standard namespace and inside that standard namespace, all the important information, all the definitions of C out are already written. And now compiler can compile these functions. So this is exactly how the first program will look like. You can experiment with this slash n and you can write your own messaging ads. Uh, right, right. Something like my name is Malhar and semicolon. Every, every line inside C++ ends with the semicolon. That is also very important thing. So if I run this program here, you can see start from new line. Hello world and my name is Mullar, all are in the same line because I am not using slash n. But as soon as I write slash n at the end of every string, everything will get beautified and like you can see beautiful output line by line. So if I run this program again, uh, let's play a game, start from the new line, hello world and my name is Mullar. So this is how exactly the C++, uh, C++ program will start, his, uh, start its execution from the main function. So whatever you will write inside these blocks will get executed. Thanks a lot.